advanced naval technology exercise. Battle space preparation in a contested environment. Antex is a very powerful construct for advancing technology. It provides a venue for scientists and engineers to experiment with technology in a non-threatening environment, which encourages risk-taking and innovation. General Dynamics Mission Systems. General Dynamics is going to be launching unmanned un underwater vehicles from a surface vessel that will then go in and establish communications with the submarine combat control system ashore here at Newark. Naval Undersea Warfare Center, Division Newport. So we deployed the first micro UV running off a of fuel cell as far as we know ever. And this started real slow this morning, quarter power, worked through some kinks and this afternoon we took it to 50% and 100% power, full out, better than we could have expected. Fantastic. The fleet benefits from Antex by having the rapid prototyping. You're trying to speed technology with a warfighter. Antex is a conduit to do that because it allows industry, academia, warfare centers to put their prototypes in the water and show the state of the art in front of stakeholders, fleet operators. You get an immediate feedback loop all in the vein of mixing that pot of ideas and bringing it out to the fleet in the most rapid manner. Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division. Our O&R program is developing technology for a future USB. The particular technologies that we were testing are focused on the neutralizer. The idea is to have a lower cost, smaller, more easily to deploy neutralizer for the Navy. Northrop Grumman. We're here with multiple unmanned undersea vehicles. We're demonstrating seabed warfare from both offensive and defensive capability, as well as multi-domain uh, command and control of autonomous vehicles. Power docks. Power docks is actually an autonomous floating microgrid platform that is able to generate its own power and is able to distribute the power for the purpose of recharging electric marine propulsion vessels operating in the, um, in the aquatic space. ASIC. The ASIC Lockblade is a quadcopter that deploys from military aircraft or other aircraft from high altitude, descends down to search altitudes, looks for targets, presents information, and then flies into the water. Indian Head Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technology Division. So this is a collaboration effort between NSWC Carter Rock and NSWC Indian Head. Carter Rock providing the USV and Indian Head providing the unmanned ground vehicle or UGV. L3 Technologies. We have algorithms running automatic detection looking for air targets, surface targets, and all doing that passively. A lot of folks here are, are looking to demonstrate their capabilities. We're actually exercising our capabilities, which means we're open up to failure. So we're trying to push the edge of having multiple vehicles on the same network, chopping control, distributed control of those vehicles from one operator to another. So this is really exciting work. They're also we're taking data from those vehicles in stride and bringing them back to the, to the platform to emulate how we'd actually work this in the, in the actual battle space environment. Actual prototype systems are exercised, which enhances a mutual understanding of how to employ technology in realistic scenarios. Rapid experimentation, rapid prototyping, those are the main benefits of Antex.